What is up, Kratics? Welcome back to the series where I customize and review past DLC and OG vehicles. Never got the chance to because I didn't start making car customization videos till about late 2015. As always, guys, let me know in the comments what car from late 2015 or do you want to see me customize next that I haven't done yet. And I'll display the most liked vehicle suggestion comment in the next customization video. So, in today's video, we're going to be customizing the Dendreri Virgo Classic, the normal one. Now we did customize the Benny's custom variant about a year ago, however a lot of you guys wanted to see me customize the regular variant as well. So this car released with the Lowriders Classics update in March of 2016 and can be purchased from the Benny's website for $165,000. Now on Benny's it's just called the Dundrory Virgo for some reason and not the Virgo Classic which is kind of strange even though that's literally the name of the car of the game. And for those of you who don't know, on Legendary Motorsport, we have the regular Virgo, which can be a bit confusing. However, the regular Virgo is in the Albany brand, whereas the Virgo Classic is in the Dundreary brand. So it can be a bit confusing there, a regular Virgo, then Virgo Classic, and they both are different brands, but more Rockstar logic there. Anyways, the Virgo name was first introduced in GTA Vice City, and was also featured in San Andreas, Vice City Stories, and GTA 4 as well, which is almost identical to the one we have in GTA 5. In regards to performance, this car is in the muscle car class and is one of the slowest cars in that class, as you would expect from a car like this. Now the Benny's custom variant is significantly faster due to its better handling, acceleration, and top speed. However, it's still one of the slower cars in that class. The reason you buy a car like this is for its styling and for cruising, not for performance, obviously. <laughs> now, in terms of what the Virgo Classic is based on, it is primarily based on the 1977 Lincoln Mark V, mixed with the 1977 Mercury Cougar, and the 1977 Ford Thunderbird as well. And it also takes some styling cues from a few other cars, but it's mainly those three pretty interesting combination there but still a great looking 70s luxury car but anyways let's go ahead and check out the customization of the regular Virgo classic all right Virgo classic not to be confused with the other Virgo <laughs> but this is Dundreary so it makes sense um, so firstly here we have the Virgo classic custom upgrade the Benny's you know custom conversion upgrade um, which turns it into a lowrider and all that. Now we did do a video on that about a year ago, um, but again, a lot of you guys wanted to see me customize the regular variant as well, which is what we're focusing on in this video. So we're gonna skip that, even though that's a very cheap upgrade, all things considering. So um, honestly, if <laughs> in general, I'd probably go with that upgrade, depending on what build you're going for, but um, I think it's definitely worth it. But again, we're focusing on the regular uh, Virgo Classic for this. So firstly here we have armor, brakes, engine, um, lights. I think we'll stick with the factory, you know, like yellow lights of that era. So we'll keep that there. Plates, got the black background. Um, plate for this, I mean, this is like a luxury car. So I think I have my, oh, there it is, my luxury plate. I got it over here. There it is. Yes, that works out well. Probably the best plate I have for this, so we'll do that. Um, respray. Now, I, I sort of want kind of like a mafia car sort of look to this. So, um, obviously, most of those cars are blacked out. So, um, let me throw a matte black on here to get rid of the pearl because even classic silver does have a pearl. So, I always throw a matte there to get rid of it. Um, and then we're going to throw on here the crew black. So, I think that looks fantastic. And then you can see the secondary color, um, like this lower portion here, looks pretty pretty decent also on the front end as well so it's not just the side it also wraps around the front end and a little bit above the grill there looks pretty good um, but I think painting it white or something it just doesn't look right or just any other color I think it needs to be color match in the case of this build that I'm going with um, so I'm gonna go ahead and make that match with the crew black and for those of you who don't know what crew black is it's basically just a darker variant of normal black you can kind of Kind of hard to tell the difference on this paint job in particular, but let me go on. See the back and forth there, you can kind of see it. The crew black is just darker. Uh, Kreblum for this car goes on the doors. Okay. Suspension. Hmm. Should we lower it? 
I mean, I don't think it needs to be that low. Maybe, I mean, I'm not really going for like a low rider build, but um, honestly, for the first time ever, <laughs> other than off roaders and stuff, I think I'm gonna stick with the stock ride height. I mean, this car is already sitting. I mean, look at that back wheel. I mean, it's sitting pretty low already. I think I think it's fine. Um, transmission, turbos, max it all out wheels now i do like the stock wheels on this car i think they look pretty good um so we're gonna go to a low rider category we're gonna go to chrome and the fresh mesh wheels are actually pretty similar there if i go back and forth you can see they're pretty similar um split six kind of as well but the fr fresh mesh is, uh, fresh mesh is definitely a lot closer um so we'll do that and then i do want white walls on here which i think will really set it off oh yeah oh yeah that is nice the black dial with the white walls and those wheels and chrome. Oof, that looks so clean. I love that. Uh, windows, definitely black them out. And look at that. I mean, just, just the simple things. And look at how good that looks. Absolutely love that. I wonder how, obviously, I'm not going to put this because I want white walls. But I wonder how the arrow stars will look on this. Is that in this? Is that in? Oh, that's in street, I think. Arrows. Ah, here we go. Eh, not, not too bad. Not too bad. I think I think these definitely look a bit better though with the white walls and all that. All right, let's go ahead and take it for a drive again. Not really any visual customization except for the normal stuff, but obviously that's why you have the Benny's variants, you know. So makes sense. But the regular ones still. I mean, if you want just the look, this this looks so good. I mean, I should be wearing a suit right now driving this car. <laughs> it's it it's that is so classy, man. Very very classy. These two-door, just giant cars. I mean, this thing is the size of a modern sedan. <laughs> it's a two-door car. It's just crazy. Let's go to the interior. Oh, this is pretty good interior. Not bad. I like it. I like it. This, this is not the traditional muscle car interior. I forgot which one this is from, but I know it's slightly different. The dash. I think it's yeah, just the dash that's different. Door panels are the same. And then the seats are from, like, newer cars. They're not the traditional muscle car seats with, like, the holes in it. And then the back part, like where, where, where the, the shelf at the back, it's supposed to, it's got like gloss paint on there. That's kind of weird. Interesting. Okay. Tail lights there. See how it sounds? Pretty quiet. All right. Floor it here. Some wheel spin. You know, it gets up and goes pretty good. I'm actually quite surprised. I thought it was going to be a lot slower than that. I mean, we do have it maxed out, but still, that's, that's... That's that's some decent speed. That's not bad. I mean, you don't need more than that for, you know, a cruiser like this. Handling this. It's got a bit of steering delay. Just a tiny bit. It's, it's sort of... It responds pretty quickly, but once you put in that steering input it takes a bit to to steer like a hundred percent of the way it's got like it initially steers and then it progressively steers quicker interesting okay so i guess the the steering response like going back and forth is not that great but it's, it's, it's not a performance car but i i do like to comment on the stuff like this just, just so you you can have a better idea on how the the car drives very smooth. Very, very smooth. Let me force it a little more here. Got some traffic. Okay. Let's force it more here. There we go. So I was just trying to see the traction limit there. The back end did come out. Let's see a hairpin. I mean, <laughs> considering this thing's literally a boat, that's, <laughs> that's not bad. That's not bad. First person. Ooh, nice and quiet in here. Not bad. I like the, the view from this. You can see that the fenders there kind of sticking up with the, the hood, kind of like the, the raised area in the center. I, I like it. Not bad. All right, now this thing is in the muscle car class, so technically it should be able to wheelie. So let's see, let's see if it does it. It's, I mean, it's maxed out, let's see? Oh yeah, look at that. Not bad. I mean, it, 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 it a very easy and smooth wheelie too. 
Everything, even the wheelies are smooth on this car. Everything about this car is smooth. It doesn't do some dramatic, crazy wheelie. It, it, look at that. Look at how nice of a wheelie that is. Eh? <laughs> Barely scrapes the bumper. That's nice. That's nice. That's nice. <laughs> What's the reverse lights on this thing? Oh, they're in the license plate area. Okay. I like it. I do like look at look at how low this thing is. Remember, we have stock suspension. I think I made the right choice keeping it stock right height. That's really low. Alright, vehicle doors. All Let's see engine model. Ah, eh, not all that great. I mean I guess they saved all the detail for Benny's. I mean, it makes sense. Interior, this is decent for what it is. Trunk, lots of trunk space. <laughs> Yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. This is, I mean, it's 165,000. Um, obviously, nowadays in GTA, 100K is nothing. I mean, you, you literally get that by, by doing, you know, the most random stuff. And Kayo, obviously, you can buy 10 of these if you do a Kayo. But um, it, it's, it's, the, the thing about this car, I mean, in comparison to other cars, it has no visual customization. It's pretty average, you know, in terms of the driving and all that. I, I'd say it's only worth it if you also apply the Benny's upgrade to it. Because the Benny's upgrade was only, what, like 240000 I think it was. Um, and the base car is one hundred and sixty-five, So that's what? That's 400000 I believe, if my math is correct there. Um, four hundred and five. So that, that's... I know that sounds like a lot, but, I mean, for a Benny's lowrider, you know, Benny's, uh, all the crazy customization and stuff... I, I think with the Benny stuff, it is worth it. So, just just my take there. But anyways, guys, remember to let me know down below in the comments what vehicle you want to see me customize next that I haven't done yet. As always, the list of cars I haven't done yet will be down below in the comments. Thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.